Welcome to the Interested and Interesting Person Project. Let's talk about words to watch out for at the beginning of your sentences. What? Are you trying to tell me that there's some words that can wreck my sentence? That is exactly what I'm trying to tell you. I'll bet you think they're cuss words. <laughs> Spoiler alert, they're not. The words I have in mind are called by a group of really stuck up English teachers, subordinating conjunctions. Let's take a look at a few. Although, though, because, even, if, once, until, when, whenever. Those look like perfectly normal words. How do they wreck my sentence? They are perfectly normal. They only wreck your sentence if you put them right at the beginning of your sentence. I think it's time for an example. I love my dog. A perfectly reasonable sentence. Perfectly correct, perfectly grammatical for people who love dogs. Although I love my dog, what in the heck is missing there? Why can I write, I love my dog, and put a period behind it with confidence, and yet I write, although I love my dog, I cannot put a period. I can't. Do you want to know why? Although has ruined my sentence. All the subordinating words will destroy my sentence. Look, although I love my dog, doesn't say anything. Though I love my dog, uh, something more needs to be had there. Because I love my dog, what? What's wrong? Even if I love my dog, even is one of those subordinating conjunctions that requires another word, like even when I love my dog. This is actually getting a little awkward for me now. Once I love my dog, it's truly getting super awkward at this point. But the point is happening until I love my dog. I can't do it. I, I can't. When I love my dog, oh no. Whenever I love my dog, you can see the point. Of, I can't. Just have fun while you're learning, would you? That's my game. That's my game. That's why I do this. I hope you're getting the actual content with the flashing thing that's also slightly annoying, but we're going with it because COVID. So there. I can tell you what's going on here. It's a little scary. What's happening is that I love my dog is an independent clause acting as its own sentence there. Perfectly happy with the capital at the beginning and the period at the end. Oh, I was about to use a subordinating word. Although, although when, so here's, here's one, we can use this uh, actually. It's a good example. Although when I put a subordinating conjunction in front of that independent clause, the period runs away. It has to because the subordinating conjunction turns that independent clause into a dependent clause. Can you tell I hate using the English teacher talk? But we have to here. Writing sentences involves understanding exactly what independent and dependent clauses are and subordinate to oh, oh, and subordinating words turn independent clause into subordinate or dependent clauses. I do, oh my God, I don't have a flashy background. That's my real bookcase. And this is my real dog. I do have one and I love him. So here's how we fix that problem. When we have a coordinating conjunction or subordinating conjunction or coordinating word or subordinating word. They switch back and forth. English teachers can't stand them. But anyway, we have one of those kinds of words and my list is not thorough. We need to put a comma at the end of what is now a dependent clause. So check this out. Although I love my dog, comma, I refuse to allow him to sleep in bed with us. But he's adorable. So just remember, if you start a sentence with one of these words, or any of the others that are exactly like these words, 
you need to put a comma and then follow it with an independent clause. Practice a lot. And remember, the Interested and Interesting Person Project is brought to you by Chris Risley. That's me.